in a kitchen devoid of valuable storage space. This is one of my two overhead cabinets. Obviously something has to go, so let's get started. I'm starting to move my glass jars and other food storage containers out of the area under my sink and into the pantry. And I'm consolidating the pantry to make that happen. It's a whole thing. I have a whole bunch of lids for the small size um, mason jars and the large mouths mason jars. And they are just a mess and they're taking up a lot of room. So I want to get those organized and put into these containers. This is what I've got right now. And put in the pantry with the jars. So let's see what we got going on. So here are my jar lids. I basically have, as I said, the large mouth ones, the small mouthed ones, and then some that are neither large or small, but fit on those sort of in-between jars that sometimes come into our lives. So I think I'm gonna start by putting all those indeterminately sized uh, jar lids in this one, the smallest one, since it seems to be the smallest amount. Sometimes it's handy to have uh, these ones because you end up with a jar and you want to send something home with somebody and um, you know you don't need to keep the jar so it's nice to have a lid. So there's one. I wonder if this is... Nope. It's also... So I'm going to go ahead and start organizing those and then we will move on to the next challenge. All right, that looks to be done. I even found a one that can fit in securely in the top of a jar that has this size opening and a very large jar lid and a couple of rubber gaskets. So I'm just going to put these together. I think it will fit just fine. I also found one of these. This is the top of a teacup. The teacup must have broken, but I do like to keep my soup warm and my tea warm in mugs. So I'm going to see if I can find um, a cup I have that this will fit. So let's put a lid on this and the first task is completed. Now I noticed I have a lot of these uh, mayonnaise jars. Um, here's a Parmesan one. These are handy because you can shake things out. I think it has a larger size on the other side. But anyway, I have quite a few of these and these fit on these small mouthed mason jars. So they're kind of handy. So I'm going to separate those out. See, I have another one of these. This will go in the um, in the other container. All right. I think that's all I have for now of those. And we're good. I'm going to put a lid on this. And here we go. Done. I think I'm going to put my large mouthed mason jar lids in here because I've got a lot of them, and they are the biggest. I have both. Um, metal ones. I looked for a spice jar up here. I have uh, metal ones and I have plastic ones. I have read that the metal ones keep the air out better than the plastic ones do. And I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe it lets less oxygen in. I'm not certain, but I do use, do use both. Actually, I prefer the plastic ones because they don't, um, they don't rust. I don't can, so I reuse them. I basically use these, uh, can these canning jars and the lids for storing things like flour and sugar and oatmeal because I live in the woods and there's always this rodent issues. So delightful. I might have to have another one. We're almost full. Okay, maybe three more of these rings. I'm going to put a lid on this and get another smaller one for the rest and the plastic ones. There we go. And here's the rest going in here. Here's the plastic one. Some of these, oops, that needs to be washed. Uh, some more rings and some more of these uh, round metal pieces to go in the middle. I think we'll be good with one big and, and one small. Yep. Most of the other lids are in use. And done. This is my last Rubbermaid container, so hopefully these will fit. I do have more of these, but they've got food in them. So we'll do what we can do and the rest.
rest I'll put in another container until those original ones uh, empty out. I'm doing a big pantry overhaul for winter and just in general. Pantries are, as I've often said, a living, breathing thing. And they need to be reassessed from time to time. And I'm definitely reassessing mine. My life is changing. A lot of things are changing. And the pantry's going to reflect that, I think. A couple of these need to be rewashed. And I think I'm maybe not going to make it. That's about it. And I have this many. Okay, that's fine. Another one of these will empty out soon. Well, I thought I had it made with this container and the lids, but I found another container. So I'm definitely going to have to put all of these in a bigger container until, um, but until that happens and the containers, the other containers I have are emptied out, I'm just going to have to put the rest of them in something else. I do like the uniformity of all the containers um, being the same size and having the same look, but I just have a limited number of containers. So this is going to have to do for now. I'm way ahead of where I was. I can see things better, and I'm going to put them in the pantry so they won't be um, clogging up this cabinet here. Get a lid on this. Oops. And that's done with a couple left over that I'll put in a container and then consolidate them all. This was a shelf that was, it goes underneath the top shelf, it slides in. So now it's been freed of lids. And this has been freed of lids, so there's this much room in the um, in the cabinet too. I'm gonna wash this out and use it for something else. Check out that tower of lids. All of that was clogging up my cabinet. So glad to get that done. It's gonna go in the pantry with the jars. So that's where I am right now with my mason jar lids. Um, onward and upward. I'll keep you in the loop. Thank you so much for watching this part of my cabinet clean out.